Hi, welcome everyone to another session of Python by Conistics.com. So previously in for Python we, we discussed how to load the data in Python. So you, you will be looking at the the previous link to the previous uh, session uh, on the screen. So today today we are discussing uh, how to make categorical plots uh, for uh, data and how what are the relevant terminologies and uh, discussions that are done for the interpretation so today we are discussing few of these plots these are factor plot box plot violin plot strip plot swamp plot bar plot and count plot so we will go through them one by one so first of all in order to make graphs you need two two libraries one is seaborn and matplotlib so if I press, I click here and shift, uh, press control plus enter, it will execute this library and, and when it is successfully executed, the star will convert into a number and if it's the first command, it will become one and now it's successfully loaded. Now there is an example data set in the Seabound library. I have loaded it and its name is tips. So I, I named it same as the data file and uh, requested uh, python to show its first five observations so when i executed it is showing me five observations from zero to four that includes the total bill of the customer total tip paid by the customer gender of the customer he was smoker or not uh, the time day day of the or, or when the customer came and the time of the uh, it will be dinner, breakfast, or lunch, and number of customers in that in that order. So this is our data. So first of all, uh, we will start with bar plot or count plot. So bar plot or count plot is actually a bar chart where you uh, uh, bar plot is a chart where you plot the few uh, qualitative data in terms of count and and. Uh, so the, you 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 divide the continuous data in terms of two qualities. So if if I execute here, you can see that the total bill was this, and the average value of male customer is twenty, and the average value of female customer is less than that. And these are the uh, boundaries. So upper and lower limit or standard deviation. So secondly, uh, if you want to detail, go in detail and see the standard deviation. You need to do some numerical operations for that you need to run the numpy library so if i execute it so it is executed so now it's the same bar plot and now i tell him to use the numpy standard deviation so the boundaries are now based upon the standard deviation you can note that these are now bigger so the total bill and and standard deviations okay so this way you now next is count plot on plot is same as the bar plot on the other differences here the the base of the previous graph the focus was the total bill in this case the focus is the number of customers so the count of the data so the count plot of gender and for the data you can see that the male there were one less than 160 customers and the less than 100 customers were female now you can see box plot and vinyl plot these plots are used to see the distribution of the data how and and you, you, you need to, to see the distribution you need to see with respect to some some continuous variable so they have plotted the first of all the plot is for days with respect to the bill so for if i run it again so you can see for thursday the distribution is this there are too many there are outliers on the top and Friday is this for Saturday and Sunday. You can see the, the the center line is the average. So you can note that the from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the average is going up, and the range is also expanding for actually especially Saturday. So this this is showing the distribution and the outliers of the data. So secondly, the you can do it for uh, and do it for all of the data available so it has done for the total bill so this is just a, an example if you if you want to do it for all the data frame so all the continuous variables are plotted so this is not very meaningful because 
the range of total bill is very big and the, this the range is very small so they are very not very comparable so ideally you can compare the tip with size or or draw them separately just like this okay so now then then there is an uh, there's a sns box plot now here he has divided the distribution in terms of uh, smoker or not smoker so you can see there's another category so there are so if i execute this you will see there are two two distribution plots for each day one for a smoker the blue and the red for non-smoker you can see that for 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 uh, regular weekdays this the non-smokers have a higher bill and for for weekends the smokers have a higher bill on average okay then there's a violent plot it's same as it works same as the the box plot but it it makes a diagram rather than a box so it gives us distribution but but the disadvantages does not give us the average value but in the box plot it gives us the average value so in a violent plot you can see that uh, the, the majority are where the violin is wider okay so then there is a the, then we go on to see uh, if you want to shift the violin plot for male and female so here you can see here we have added the hue equal to sex and you can see there's there's a male and female and you can note that they they are almost equal except for friday where there are fewer number of females fewer smaller distribution of females now you can also also merge it with half side for male so this way the it will take less space and you can note that uh, the distribution of friday females have a smaller distribution while uh, other days and thursday it's also have a smaller distribution while other days it's almost similar so this way you can uh, you can see the distribution of the data now then there's a strip plot and a swamp plot it also gives you uh, it is used when uh, it's one one variable is categorical and other is uh, continuous and you need to create its uh, histogram or scatter plot so here you can see the strip plot all the these are there and the, so it has created dots and the, the density of dots shows the the density of observations so you can see the majority are here the majority are here so if i execute it will come same thing similarly there is a strip plot and if you want to uh, there is a strip plot and the, when you see jitter is equal to true so there is no such difference here but if if you go ahead it you will see the difference so in this plot you can see that we also set the hue is equal to sex option so that they there are red and blue dots so that you can differentiate between the distribution and if you want to see them separately then you need to set split equal to true it will give you uh, the, the strip plot separately now there is a swarm plot swarm plot is similar to strip plot but it also gives you uh, the distribution it makes a leaf if there is more of the observations there so secondly if you want to add um, uh, gender there so it will make two two swarm plots okay so this way the swamp plot is similar to the violent plot that we drawn earlier but the difference is it it uses the scatter dots the above is using a diagram and uh, now you can mix both by violent plot and swamp plot so that you can uh, make a make a different style of a picture then uh, factor plot we already discussed earlier that it will draw like this lastly we are discussing that uh, how to uh, store the graphs so that we can paste it or use it in our documents so in order to store the graph you need to run this library that is matplotlib.pyplot when you execute it so you need to then give the distribution to give names to the graph so first of all you need to tell what size you want to prepare the bigger the size more um, the better it is for printing purposes uh, for uh, submission in journals and then you need to give a, a title 
uh, title is required so that in the documents when you are presenting it there is a appropriate title in front and above the graph and then you need to name the graph so i'm uh, drawing a sns while in plot and i'm naming it sns underscore plot you can name anything then uh, i can i can just call it figure is equal to sns plot dot get underscore figure so the the figure will get the data regarding and then fig dot save fig with a name so if i execute it uh, the graph will be shown what what should what is going out and if you go into your your um, folder where the li library is there you will see there is a there is a graph and if you open it it will show like this and if you just uh, save image as and just keep it in your desktop and then use it in your document this way you can store the graphs that you prepare in your uh, python uh, uh, coding Thank you very much for uh, listening to the video. Hopefully, you understood how to make categorical plots. In our in in our next sessions, we will be discussing more complicated plots. So, hopefully, you enjoy. Please do do share and subscribe our YouTube YouTube channel. Thank you very much.